This is the installation video for the White Rogers 50E 47U843 Universal Hot Surface Ignition Module from Copeland. Adding to our White Rogers Connect App portfolio, this control is the next innovation in our universal offering that can easily be configured and diagnosed with your mobile device. The kit includes materials needed to replace or upgrade a non-integrated hot surface ignition module in most 24, 120, and 240 volt hot surface ignition applications, including pool heaters, unit heaters, water heaters, gas furnaces, boilers, infrared heaters, laundry, and cooking equipment. This versatile replacement part also has the ability to control an inducer motor and monitor a pressure switch. The box includes step-by-step -step instructions for easy installation, a 50E47U843 ignition module with a local flame sense jumper wire pre-installed, an 11-pin harness assembly, and a bag of installation accessories including six 316th male quick connect spade connectors, two quarter inch female spade connectors, and four mounting screws. For today's installation, a natural gas pool heater will be used. First, ensure power and gas are disconnected prior to servicing the unit. Remove the access panel. Check the part number on the existing control and verify it is one of the 325 plus modules that can be replaced with the 50E47U843. The carton contains the most popular cross-references, but for a complete list, use the White Rogers mobile app. Take a picture of the existing module for reference before removing any wires. Identify the existing wiring and take note of the terminal identifiers on the existing module. Remove the inducer wiring connected with a two-pin Molex plug. The 50E47U843 uses quarter-inch quick connect spades to connect the inducer. For this application, cut the Molex plug off and install the supplied quarter-inch female quick connect spades. Locate the 11-pin harness assembly. In some applications, the existing wiring has 3 16th inch quick connect terminals. To accommodate those, cut the existing quarter inch quick connect terminals off, strip the wire, and install the supplied 3 16th inch terminals as needed. The installation instructions come with a diagram showing wiring connections for several common hot surface ignition systems. For this application, the Fenwall diagram will be used. Individually disconnect and transfer each wire from the existing control and connect it to the appropriate quick connect terminal on the 50E47U843 11-pin harness. Note in the instructions when a module does not use both the 24-volt and the THW terminals. For this application, remove the wire from the 24VAC terminal. Note if it is a quarter-inch or 3 16th spade connector. The 11-pin harness 24V quick connect quarter inch male spade must be replaced with a 3 16th male spade to accommodate the existing 3 16th connector spade. Connect the 24 VAC wire to the 11-pin harness wire labeled 24V. The GND terminal has three wires connected to it. The 50E47U843 control has the 24V COM, GND, and MV COM connected internally. Remove the wire from the GND terminal. Note if it is a quarter inch or 3 16th spade connector. The 11 pin harness MV GND quick connect quarter inch male spade must be replaced with a 3 16th male spade to accommodate the existing 3 16th connector spade. Connect the GND wire to the 11 pin harness wire labeled MV GND. Remove the wire from the VAL terminal. Note if it is a quarter inch or 3 16th spade connector. The 11 pin harness MV1 slash valve quick connect quarter inch male spade must be replaced with a 3 16th male spade to accommodate the existing 3 16th connector spade. Connect the VAL wire to the 11 pin harness wire labeled MV1 slash valve. Remove the wire from the W terminal. Note if it is a quarter inch or 3 16th spade connector. The 11 pin harness THW quick connect quarter inch male spade must be replaced with the 3 16th male spade to accommodate the existing 3 16th connector spade. Connect the W wire to the 11 pin harness wire labeled THW. Remove the wire from the PS terminal. Note if it is a quarter inch or a 3 16th spade connector. For this application, the PS connector is quarter inch, so no adaptation is required. 
Connect the PS wire to the 11 pin harness wire labeled PSI or pressure switch in. Next, remove the igniter wires from the terminals identified as IGN slash FS and IGN slash 120. And finally, remove the 120 volt power wires from the terminals identified as L1 and L2. Once all wires have been disconnected, remove the existing module. Take note if there is a ground wire attached to one of the mounting screws. For this application, no ground wire is attached. The module can be configured by two different methods. Onboard configuration can be done after the module has been installed and powered up. Mobile app configuration is the preferred method and can be done prior to installing the module. To configure using the mobile app method, use the QR code on the product label to download the app or go to your mobile device's app store and search for White Rogers Connect. Once downloaded, open the app. Click the Connect to Control button on the home page. The screen will show Ready to Scan. Place the mobile device in contact with the target on the module labeled Place Phone Here. A check mark will appear showing the connection was successful. The app then displays the 50E47U843 setting configuration screen. The app has been preloaded with hundreds of OEM control settings. Type the replacement part number into the Auto Set box. This feature will automatically configure the 50E47U843 to the replacement part's original default settings. Table 1 on page 3 of the installation instructions shows configuration options. Also included are the configuration options when utilizing the integrated thermostat. If auto set is not used, settings can be adjusted to match the existing module. If onboard module configuration is chosen, configuration cannot be completed until the module is installed and powered up. For this application, the White Rogers Connect app auto set feature will be utilized. Type in the existing controls part number and the app will automatically display the original controls default settings. The settings must be uploaded to the new module. Select Update Control and hold the mobile device over the target on the module labeled Place Phone Here. A check mark will appear showing the module was successfully updated. The 50E47U843 is now ready to be installed. The module can be mounted in any orientation. Select a location that will not damage, obstruct, or place stress on the terminals or harness. Ensure clearance of a quarter inch between the sides of the control and the grounded metal. There are four mounting holes located towards the corners of the module. Utilize the two that match the existing module. Mount the 50E47U843 in the unit using the mounting holes used by the existing control if possible. Longer screws are supplied in the accessory bag if needed. Be sure not to damage any components such as transformers, wire harnesses, or blower wheels when drilling or installing screws. In applications using a remote flame sensor, remove the flame sense jumper and plug the flame sense wire into the sense terminal. For this application, the flame sense is detected through the hot surface ignition module, so the local flame sense jumper wire is to be left on the control. Plug the 11 pin harness into the module. Install the remaining wires to the 50E47U843 terminals. Connect ignition wires IGN slash FS to HSI2 dash FS and IGN slash 120 to HSI1 dash 120. 120 volt wires L1 to L1 and L2 to L2. And finally, inducer wires F1 to IND slash F1 and F2 to F2. Check to make sure the wires are securely connected to the harness. Secure loose wires with the wire tie. This control also features a 5 amp replaceable fuse and an air temperature sensor connector. The system is now ready to be powered on. Reconnect the electric power, turn on the gas to the unit, and make sure the water valves are open. During power up, the three 7 segment display LEDs will each show an 8. Once ready, the control will enter the standby mode and the display will show an uppercase O and a lowercase n, indicating the unit has been powered on. The 50E47U843 is compatible with applications using a built-in thermostat by using an onboard display. For these applications, the first two LEDs will show the sensor temperature and the third LED will display the configured unit of measure, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. If configuration was not completed using the White Rogers Connect mobile app, 
it can now be set up using the Option and Select buttons and the LED display. To enter configuration, press the Option button while the unit is in standby. For applications that have power only to THW, there is no standby mode. To enter the configuration mode, hold the Option button for 3 seconds while simultaneously supplying 24 volt to THW. Table 1 on page 3 of the installation instructions shows configuration options. Included at the bottom of the table is the configuration options when utilizing the integrated thermostat. For this application, the control will need to be configured by matching the settings of the existing module. To verify proper ignition, use the heater's control and make a call for heat. The digital display will show the status of operation. For this application, it will first display the letters HPR, indicating the pre-purge mode, then IGN during the igniter warm-up period, then T, F, and I, indicating it is in a trial for ignition period. After the flame is active, the display will flash between the letters H and T, indicating it is in the heat mode, and an uppercase C followed by two numbers separated by a dot or decimal. The numbers following the C are the real-time measurement of the flame current. In this application, the flame current reading is 5.0 microamps. When a weak flame is sensed during operation, the display will toggle between the letters HT and FLO, indicating the flame probe needs checked. The 50E47U843 also comes with flame current test pins. These pins are easy to access and provide the flame current reading. If it's preferred to test the flame current using your own meter, set a voltmeter to DC volts and measure across the pins while a flame is present on the sensor probe. One volt DC equals one microamp. The onboard display conveys the system status and active fault codes. If any errors occur during a cycle, a fault code will indicate the error. For an active error condition, the display will show an E followed by two numbers. An error code, EO2 showing, indicates an active error. The fault code label on the cover of the 50E47U843 indicates there was no flame during a trial for ignition. Up to five fault codes can be stored in the sequence they occurred. Fault code errors can be recalled through the White Rogers Connect mobile app. Open the app and select the Connect to Control button. Place the mobile device over the Place Phone Here label on the module and wait until a check mark appears showing the connection was successful. The app will then display the module settings configuration page. To see any errors, select the Diagnostics tab. Errors will be listed with the most current at the top. For detailed information and troubleshooting tips, select the arrow by the fault. To clear errors in the app, tap the Clear Error History button. Place the device in contact with the Place Phone Here label on the module and wait for the check mark to appear. This action can be performed whether the module is powered on or powered off. Fault codes can be accessed on the module anytime the module is powered. Press the Option and Select buttons at the same time for 2 to 5 seconds. If there are no errors, the display will read ENO. To clear errors using the module, push Option and Select at the same time for 5 to 10 seconds. This action can be performed whenever the control is powered on. Additional White Rogers Connect app features include system status and information about the module. The status tab shows the 24 volts DC and the 24 volts AC voltage level, the fuse status, and other status data applicable to the module. If at any time there are issues that require external support, White Rogers Connect comes equipped with an About tab that shows product information, the White Rogers customer service contact number, and helpful quick links to installation resources and information. Reinstall the access panels. The 50E47U843 is available wherever White Rogers products are sold. For 24 volt hot surface ignition module applications, be sure to stock the 50E47U843 24 volt non integrated hot surface ignition module. Service of HVAC equipment should only be performed by a licensed and properly trained technician. Failing to follow all applicable standards of operation and maintenance, including applicable codes and manuals, can result in potential hazards, including but not limited to electrocution and fire. Thanks for watching the White Rogers Hot Surface Ignition Module installation video. For more information, visit copeland.com slash 50E47U-843.